Hello guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a basic encryptor in C Sharp. Now, th this type of encryption message, me uh, method that we're going to be using is basically a substitution. And it was used pre-World War II before we had computers um, to help us, you know, decrypt them and whatnot. Um, it's a very basic method. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Visual Studio and then hit New Project. And under the Visual C Sharp tab, you're going to want to go to Windows Form Application. Now, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name mine C Sharp Encryption Tutorial. Sorry. Ah. Okay. Hit OK. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to the Toolbox, and you're going to want to scroll down and find the Text Box and double-click it. And then kind of set this up like I am. And then you're going to want to go to the Properties panel on the right side of the interface and find the Multi-Line Under Behavior tab and turn it to True. Now this allows us to make it bigger, uh, which we'll need so that we can have a lot of text shown. Now next thing you want to do is double click on a button and then you're going to want to make a second button. Go in line with it. Now you're going to want to name this button, uh, button one, to encrypt. Ah, whoa. Encrypt. And then this one to decrypt. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to double click on the encrypt button. And you're going to want to type textbox1.txt is equal to textbox one dot text dot replace open parentheses quotations a qu close quotations comma qu uh, open quotations q quotations close parentheses semicolon now basically what this is going to do is it's going to take the text that is originally in textbox one and it's going to replace it with say you put an a into it it's going to replace it with capital q so let's debug this and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if we put in capital A, it'll encrypt it and put it as a Q. Now, for the essence of time in this video, instead of typing this all out, I'm just going to grab all my text from the notepad. And I will, of course, upload this to the uh, video description if you would like to download it which will make it your life a whole lot easier so you're going to want to go back to form1.cs and you're going to double click on the decrypt button and for the most basically it's going to be the same exact thing it's just going to be backwards it's equal to textbox1.text.replace open parentheses quotations q uh, comma capital A, uh, quotation, end, parentheses, semicolon, and then we're just going to grab, I'm, I'm going to grab all this from my text, uh, my notepad, hit copy, paste, now once again I'll put this, uh, n this dot text file in the description so you can download it and give you easy access, um, the problem with this, and I will fix this, um, I will make an advanced uh, encryption uh, device in my next tutorial for moderate. But the problem with this is it'll only encrypt the first 13 letters of the alphabet. So let's say hi. If we encrypt it, we get hi. But if we were to say why and encrypt it, uh oh. See, the problem with that. Is that it has no way to encrypt the Y because it's reading it as Y is going to be equal to E. Or E is going to be equal to Y. So in my next tutorial, which will either come tomorrow or the next day, I will show you how to make it so that I will read the entire alphabet for it. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll have my website up. Uh, when I start my Dreamweaver tutorials, which will be after these C Sharp ones. So stay tuned for that. XNA tutorials might follow Dreamweaver. And um, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. See ya.